Hey guys, this is David. I hope you're having a great day so far. Um, I'm a little behind on the Two Minute Tuesday. Uh, it is Wednesday. So I wanted to do uh, part two from last week's question, which was uh, if I break a promise to God and what is the unforgivable sin, which is specifically part two. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna just share that today. Would love your thoughts on it. Please do uh, hit me up in the comments with some feedback. Would love to hear it. This is in Matthew chapter uh, 12, 12, verses 31, 32. He says, I tell you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven men, but the blasphemy against the Spirit, the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. And anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But anyone who speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or the age to come. Now, uh, there's a book called The Five Minute Theologian. It's got uh, by the name of Rick Cornish. And he says it like this. If you're worried that you may be guilty of the unforgivable sin, chances are you most certainly are not. Uh, concern about committing it reveals the opposite attitude of what the sin is. Those who may be guilty wouldn't care because they have no distress or remorse over the possibility. And now listen, when Jesus says this, this, this verse, when he creates this proclamation about blaspheming the Holy Spirit, he wasn't talking to his disciples, he wasn't talking to his followers, he was talking to the Pharisees. And the thing about the Pharisees were that they personally, at this moment, in the context of the scripture, they witnessed a miracle done. And they it's an instant, complete and instant healing of the blind man and uh, the blind and the mute, um, demon possessed man. And instead of acknowledging that Jesus was given uh, an authority to cast out demons, instead of acknowledging the Holy Spirit at work, they blasphemed, they, they were so deprived, they acknowledged this power. They said this power must be attributed to Satan. So think about this, the Pharisees, they didn't just do one act of willful ignorance. It was a continuous rejection of what God is doing, continual willful rejection, a lifestyle of willfully rejecting what the Holy Spirit was doing. I believe this is what we consider the blaspheming of the Holy Spirit. So the fact is, if you're concerned about this, know that it is very unlikely that you're guilty of it. Just the fact that you're concerned shows that there's there's a, a heart for the Holy Spirit, there's a heart to, to go after Him, that, that you haven't turned your heart, you haven't turned away to a point you're like, no, I don't want this anymore. Uh, God is still working and there's still grace on your life. Our guest is Studio Tuesday. Talk to you later.